Today we have with us Magdum Mohammed, the Managing Director of Van Ifra South Asia. Welcome to Sri Lanka, Magdum. Uh, the Asian economy has witnessed a boom, while Western economies have shown a descending trend. Where do you position the global media industry in general, and the print media in particular in this challenging environment? Yeah, you know, um, uh, see, um, uh, yeah, Asian economy, uh, Asian uh, print media, you know, if you look at newspaper industry, or uh, newspaper industry, um, you know, Asian media has, you know, fair fairly well in terms of print uh, because of various uh, challenges like structural challenge the industry went through yes. uh, whereas you know in, in the western economies um, you know uh, the by far the biggest uh, the change that happened was you know the influence of internet mm -hmm. on, on people's usage and also the, you know the available you know, and the, the availability of uh, you know connectivity you know that's really changed the, the way people uh, you know um, Look at the media for to consume news, etc. Uh, so, uh, they, I mean, so that it will be easy for people to get into an access, you know, in uh, news and etc. on on the internet and on the mobile, etc. Whereas in Asia, like we 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 are not that much connected, that very well connected. You know, even if you bisect, you know, in Asia into further South Asia, and it, it is more uh, you will find that you know, in uh, the connectivity in South Asian countries is not. Of a compared to, for example, you know, either Singapore or, or some other country. So that way, you know, we are like you know, behind uh, the sense. Um, uh, I mean, we are in an advantageous position in terms of, uh, the, you know, newspapers concern. So, um, so therefore, like you know, when uh, suddenly when newspapers are not um, okay, um, not in a position to you know, take benefit of you know, the digital divide that happened in the West. So they lost the market. You know, where is it? Uh, private players like with, with entrepreneurial venture, you know, they took benefit of that. Uh, whereas in Asia, we still have a lot of time to you know, for newspapers to grow, you know, and then you know still be read by a lot of people. Uh, and, but uh, but we could you can expect that you know this will soon come to us also one day. You know, not be one year, two year, maybe five year down the line, we'll see that newspapers or Asian countries also have see, see a, a similar trend. And then you know that but there's a time for newspapers to be prepared and to uh, eventually be ready for you know, uh, such a kind of uh, developments that will come to us. Yeah. So I will say, uh, make a while well, sun shines, but better be prepared for a rainy day tomorrow. Right. Uh, now informa no, information for, for people. Okay. To, today I have plenty of choices, you know. Uh, as, a, as a reader, I mean, uh, not just newspapers, like I know, I mean, newspapers is not the primary, you know, I mean, um, the source of information. So there are so many the threat is that you know your threat is from from internet threat is from TV, you know, and you know and all these uh, digital you know I mean, um, connectivity is only helping the other industry. So the uh, major threat I would say is how do we get readers to look at uh, you know I mean, uh, um, uh, the print media you know, to consume? You know? um, challenges okay. I mean you know uh, the manpower and you know do we have okay? We see that threat is you know that. Um, this newspaper is not as a primary medium for consuming news, but the challenge is how do we prepare our people, you know, when, uh, when our own, you know, when, um, staff, etc. Uh, how do we prepare our, the organization to be, you know, to, to, you know, to make newspapers, you know, the first source of media. You know, there is something like, you know, when um, uh, giving what readers want and, you know, and, uh, and, and you know, what readers like, you know, so this is one of the issues. Newspapers, like you know, in um, uh, for example, you know, if you look at the trending, you know, in, in internet, you know, we'll say that uh, the trending is that if people are interested about something about sports mm -hmm. or like, or it could be about movies, that could be on the trend. Whereas, like tomorrow, if you take the you know, in uh, newspaper headline, it could be about not about what is being you know, trended, but you know, it's like generally about it could be on uh, some political issue or economic issue. So because like we have our our editors felt that. You know, we have to give something, you know, in uh, that what is important to them. Let me tell, you know, my reader, you know, this is important to you, you know. So, but in whereas, you know, the, the internet works opposite around. Okay, you know, we give what in readers want. So, but what's the challenge? Challenge you now to how do we give uh, that information that we think they need in the way they like it, you know. So, there should be the challenge. So, I mean, for that, okay, you know, I mean, our editors, like, you know, I mean, uh, uh, the, um, um, you know, our, um, 
manpower has to be trained in a way to present the news in a way that they like it. So, that's all the challenges I see here. So, in your view, how should we overcome these challenges? Yeah, um, we should be, um, no, the organization should be you know, and cap and made ready to capable of you know, and taking up you know, benefit of uh, you know, the, the digital, you know, that we have. I mean, prepare organization to be digitally ready tomorrow when it comes, you know, you know, not wait for the moment you know, when the, um, um, you know, the breaking point comes and then you prepare, like prepare the organization now, you know, invest in, uh, you know, in manpower, invest in people, invest in infrastructure, so, you know, we should have our organization ready to face that kind of a challenge uh, and be there like where our leaders want, want to. So it could be on. Uh, they, they want. To, they may want to be. You know, in, get reached in. You know, in, uh, in internet or mobile. You know, we should have at least some platform, something to be started now itself. Yeah. So what are the main factors that differentiate South Asian print media industry from that of the rest of the world? See, in the, in the Western world, you know, it, it is fashionable to say that the print is dying. You know, okay. Even before, like the print is dead, they want to bury print. So whereas like you know it, it is not the case you know I mean um, um, uh, whereas we still see a growth in print media you know uh, in, in Asian countries but at the same time we can't be complacent and say okay you know I mean I have my next you know and my my generations with me you know I mean, this will soon change you know, the le the learning curve from the digital is much faster than what we see you know in digital so you never know how this you know the consumption of uh, you know I mean, news etc you know I mean, more usage of digital will I mean, uh, turn out to be. So we got to prepare uh, ourselves. You know, and uh, one of the recent developments um, um, you know, in, in the Western world that happened is selling a Washington Post to, to Amazon. You know, in one uh, Jeff Bezos. I mean, the interview. You know, the Graham family said, okay, the uh, newspaper, uh, the uh, you know, value or circulation has, has really gone down a bit. You know, they are not in a position to. You know, I mean. Uh, Sustain that you know, before it goes completely, we wanted to sell out and go. But you know, interesting to see how Jeff Bezos will, you know, will develop that. So uh, I am only seeing that uh, something like this eventually happens in, you know, in, in the Asian market also, like maybe 10 years down the line. I don't know, I mean, okay, some people newspapers say that, okay, let me buy, sell my newspaper to you know, one of these fellows like, who has got you know, a lot of money. But you know, should we? We have clear. No, I mean, uh, indications and lessons from Western world uh, to safeguard ourselves. You know, so this is a time to be active. You know, and also, uh, you know, I mean, um, uh, prepare our organization, participating in in forums, you know, you know exchanging ideas, you know, collectively. You know, we take care of industry. You know, the sunset is not there. We can prolong it much, much longer. But one day, it's definitely. You know, we we have to be prepared for the eventuality. You spoke about knowledge sharing. Are there any possibilities of increasing synergies between Sri Lanka's media industry with that of other Asian countries? Yeah, you know, see, the, for example, Vanifra you know, plays a role you know, in bringing you know, uh, publishers together, you know, like-minded people to share and discuss. Like we have uh, you know, various uh, committees, like various uh, programs that we offer. You know, uh, for example, Vanifra has got a program called. Uh, I mean, E news, you know, where you know the group of newspapers come together, uh, talk about the future of industry and new ideas. You know, uh, these kind of uh, you know, industry associations, you know, new way for like you know, new joint ventures, new partnerships, etc. So uh, I'm sure that you know it's, it's a time that you know we all you know, share and learn from each other. And when um, for uh, our organization, you know, provide that kind of platform. Where the you know, industry should benefit uh, from each other. What is the role and mandate of uh, Vanifra? See, Vanifra has got like you know, I mean, uh, our primary focus is like you know, in, um, uh, 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 no, efficient and, and profitable business for niche publishers. Okay, you know, I mean, uh, when it's efficient, like you know, I mean, uh, in terms of uh, in our operations, you know, how efficiently you know, I mean, uh, we can you know. It can be lean structures. It can be modern, you know, uh, uh, modern ways of operation. It end up with like sustainable and uh, efficient uh, running of uh, business. Same time, also like we also have uh, work for quality journalism, you know, and 
Colonialism and you know and freedom of press, etc. Now, uh, what is the World Publishing Expo 20, uh, 2013, and what type of benefits would the participants gain through this summit? Yeah, see, in the World Publishing Expo, you know, it's an annual uh, exhi you know exhibition come in a convention of Anifra happens in Europe. Uh, it will be in the first week of uh, October in Berlin. Uh, where more than uh, 250 you know, I mean, uh, suppliers of various uh, you know, products and you know, solutions to newspapers, niche publishing companies will be there, right from uh, printing machine manufacturers to workflow solution providers, I mean, consumable suppliers, free press equipment suppliers, uh, digital media suppliers, everybody will be there. It's like you know, in, uh, one unique place where you know, we can meet the, you know, the vendors of suppliers of um, Solutions and products to newspaper industry, newspaper, newspaper publishing industry, I would put it that way. For so industry, you know, it happened in there. And apart from that, there will also there'll be, I mean, uh, four uh, conferences you know, that will go along with uh, the expo. Uh, we have an uh, exclusive program about uh, you know, in, uh, uh, newspaper publishing in terms of production and uh, modern days of product, modern ways of production, you know. And we have a program about uh, uh, you know, publishing news in, uh, in uh, apps and tablets. You know, and uh, there is a program about uh, uh, newsroom summit. I mean, newsroom summit talks about uh, modern ways of you know, working in, you know, in, in a newsroom. Uh, a South Asian conference, a Vanifra South Asian conference happening in September. Uh, you know, uh, September 11 to 13 in Bangalore. Uh, which is kind of a, uh, a smaller version of what we are going to see in, in Berlin in, in October. So we expect uh, more than uh, uh, no, in, uh, uh, 600 uh, conference delegates and about 1,500 uh, no, visitors, visitors to the expo. Okay, this, this lagging will have uh, an exhibition where there are about 75 exhibitors, and then you know there will be a parallel program for advertising people, um, for editors, and also for production people. So Vanifra has got this regional focuses where you know, I mean, we are bringing in, uh, you know, what is there in, in Europe and in the Western world uh, to our, um, you know, uh, to the and to the publishers and you know, newspaper executives in, in every region. So that's what it's about. So we, so there's a global focus and then the South Asian focus. So people can you know, benefit from both. Yeah. Uh, how important is innovation? For the print media industry, very much important. Actually. You know, see today, if you say the successful organizations are the one who are constantly innovated. You know, uh, innovation. You know, it could be about you know, I mean, uh, creating new forms of advertising, new forms of uh, reporting. You know, uh, and then uh, innovation could lead to you know, I mean, uh, efficiency in the process of the work. You know, it could lead to um, more money. You know, more. I mean, more uh, profits. And you know. Uh, reduce cost. Yeah, innovation. I, I think it, uh, it's, it's, it's very vital for uh, newspaper industries to you know, you know, um, to grow and develop this. And in this context, I see that you know, Ceylon today has done a very good work in terms of advertising innovation. You know. so, and so yeah, we are going to have you know, and also Ceylon today is presenting you know um, their success story in, in our conference in Bangalore. Our right, idea is to. Um, innovation wherever it happens, it has to be you know showcased and then so the industry could learn and benefit from each other. Yeah. So absolutely necessary that innovation has to be you know, I mean, the focus of any company for that matter. How has the emergence of uh, social media impacted our industry? Very much actually. You know, I mean, today you know, I mean, uh, whatever that happens, like you know, I mean, uh, uh, um, so social media has got. Both. Like one is like you know, our, our readers, you know, I mean, you know, they get onto social media, you know, to look for uh, uh, any news or like, or just to post like you know, their views and expression. Um, same time, social media also helps uh, editors to get to know what is you know, I mean, uh, uh, happening around the industry. You know, I mean, um, following social media is like you know, and like Twitters, you know, etc. They can they can. Uh, Keep themselves, you know, abreast of developments, like you know, I mean, happening across, which they can, you know, the difference between uh, 
the social media and you know and our traditional reporting social media cannot go in depth into or rather they don't have the expertise to go in depth into you know the story you know so social media you know helps them to give you know and uh, leads about the stories which traditional newspapers can you know pick it up and then present it in a way you know um, uh, with you know with in depth you know with a lot of uh, how I mean, in the, in the interest of, you know, I mean, uh, you know, they can present a nice way, actually, yeah. So, social media is quite definitely, you know, I mean, helps editors. I mean, all editors must be in social media. They must have a Twitter account, for example. So, you know, it helps them to constantly you know, get to know the pulse of the reader. And uh, same time, you know, I mean, uh, uh, also, like, you know, more and more readers are getting onto, you know, social media. So, that means, like, we should have our own social media uh, engines, you know, that uh, that would, you know, and the trader would also like, you know, and get attached to that. So in a way, one one way, you know, we are able to, you know, uh, extend the reach of our, our newspaper as news news media uh, through social media, and we are able to get in touch with, uh, you know, the uh, readers. At the same time, you know, it also helps editors to you know to know what is the latest, you know, that is happening. Yeah, social media it will only only grow, and then you know we should. Uh, you know, take benefit of uh, its, its growth. Yeah. So, when it comes to the newspaper industry, so the reliability of the news is play a vital role yeah. in the industry. So, uh, Vanifer has taken an initiative to train people or to conduct in workshops uh, in terms of some explanation. Yeah. So, we have the program. The program open for, for editors, the various kinds of program about reporting. I mean, see, one of the core values of Vanifer it's also I mean, credible journalism. You know, I mean, see, uh, one is I mean efficient operations, you know, and profitability of business. At the same time, you know, credibility of journalism. So to that extent, we run, uh, you know, uh, workshop, we offer workshop about uh, reporting. You know, I mean, writing for, you know, uh, uh, for media, different media, digital media. So these are all things that we do. Yeah, of course, we, we do that, and, and you know, and, and wherever there has been a case of, you know, I mean, credible journalism that has given results, we also highlight them in our conferences, you know, so that I mean, we all benefit from each other.